What's up YouTube? I'm back. Let's talk about water changes and how to do them more efficiently. And don't forget to hit that sub button. It's Hab Nation, baby. Stay tuned. I'm the Magnificent. I'm the Magnificent with the sensational style. And I could go on and on for like a mile a minute. Cause I get in it like a car and drive. And if the record is a smash, I can still survive. Cause I'm the man of steel on the wheel that you're steering. Or rather playing on the record that you're hearing. You might not understand what I'm saying at first, so action love. What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna show you guys what I use to do water changes on this big guy, also the aquariums in the fish room, just to give you guys a tip on how to do them more efficiently. So let's head on over to the garage. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, here we are. Excuse the echo. But as you can see here, I have several different devices. Here you see the water change tool right here, the siphon, and also you see the DIY little thingy that I made. Boom, pumps. Here's one and here's the other. This big pump is what I use to do water changes in the fish room. It's gonna have a video coming soon on it. Now as you can see here, this universal attachment, voila. You can use it on any one of the pumps, okay? Extra hoses, things of that nature. This deal really comes in really, really, really handy, guys. I'm gonna put it on the aquarium so that you can get an idea of how it's used. As you can see this T here, it's so that the water can be distributed side by side. That way it's not mixing up all of the substrate in your aquarium, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Extra large, as you can see, this siphon is long. This is the extra large one, okay? All different type of hoses. I even have a couple of feet, maybe 25 feet a PVC hose that I use. So let's get this baby on the aquarium to give you an idea of how easy it is and how it will make your life much simpler when doing water changes. You can eliminate buckets, save your time, save yourself some time, and also save yourself some headache. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, here we are. This is how this is gonna work. It hangs over the side of your aquarium like so. And as you can see here, I have a shut off valve on it. That way you can um, shut the water off in the event that you need to. So I just put this on here as a safe safety mechanism. And as we go down more, you can see where the hose attaches to it, okay? Now, this hose, this end, you're gonna to wanna to attach to your pump, okay? Very simple, very simple guys, very easy. And trust me, this will make your life a lot, lot easier. Okay guys, just wanted to share that with you. So let's go back over here. This is the big pump that I use when I'm do doing more than one aquarium. This one right here is for the 220. And of course, we have here the standard siphon. These siphons come with many different attachments. Um, most people prefer the Python, but this one works just fine to me. All right, guys, that's my time, and thanks for watching. Remember, the opinion that you follow should be your own. Simply take this video as a second opinion from a complete stranger online. And as always, until the next one, IFG. Peace.